the vision of the Smart Selangor Smart State program is to make Selangor the premier smart state in ASEAN by the year 2025. In the short term, between now and 2022, we will be focusing on transport and mobility. How do we make this public service a bit more accessible and more informative for the citizens? Second, we're looking at um, digital infrastructure for the state and how can we build uh, what we call the gigabit network for the state of Selangor for government use. But outside of office hours, how can we share that bandwidth with the citizens to do things like free Wi-Fi or perhaps free Wi-Fi for the rural areas in particular. In terms of solutions that we want to deploy within the state, I think one is start small, start by pilots at a very small scale. And once we have that minimum viable product, we need it to scale that very, very quickly. And secondly, is once you have a service that is online and available, you want to ensure availability of those services. So that's very crucial to us and it cannot be shut down in any way. Those are the two main characteristics that we considered um, in choosing AWS. For the development of the Chapak platform, uh, we use microservices and we use scalability features like uh, the EC2s and the S3s, for example. Um, to give you the computing power and storage as you need when you're dealing with citizen and transactional information. And secondly, in terms of guaranteeing access and guaranteeing security, we put in constructs like the usual SSL or TLS, and we use a microservice called Cognito uh, to make sure we have user authentication and data synchronization. Being on the cloud is crucial for us to ensure that the services are available and reliable and scalable at the same time. To me, that's the biggest metric and the biggest result that we've achieved throughout this journey with AWS.